Uh, I am chairing the next uh, session, which is about the important uh, connection between infrastructure of movement, so mobility systems generally, and the notion of urban well-being. And we have um, three speakers uh, here. Uh, in fact, Lawrence Frank is unable to join us, uh, but no one is going to be Lawrence uh, Frank. So we have three speakers, um, and very much representing uh, different uh, experiences, but I think talking very much about the same subject. The last will be Gita Tiwari, who will talk about her experiences in India, and particularly with uh, road issues and uh, the effect that has on urban uh, populations in terms of uh, the problems with accidents and um, pollution and other things. Jimmy Lung, who we've already uh, heard introduced, a uh, very key player in the planning framework of this city, works very closely with Carrie Lam and others, uh, will talk about um, the vision for Hong Kong in terms of the role of uh, uh, urban development and transport as a way of ensuring well-being of cities. And uh, the next speaker is my colleague and friend and uh, person uh, who has worked uh, with me from the very beginning of the urban age, Philip Rode, uh, who uh, in the last years has um, developed a particular interest within the urban age and LSE cities in understanding uh, transport systems and their impacts on uh, the green economy, on uh, generally on uh, efficient and smart cities. And today he will be talking about the relationship between uh, effectively mobility and well-being uh, through the experiences of some of the work that we've done together with the uh, Her House and Society in three of the big cities, São Paulo, Istanbul, and Mumbai. Thank you very much, Philip. Thank you.